my name is Daniel Juicy. We're here at the 1789 restaurant. I'm the executive chef here. And today we were going to do a little demonstration on how to roast turkey and everything that goes along with it just to show you that there's nothing to be afraid of and how easy, in fact, it really is. First things first, when cooking a turkey, start the day before. We're going to brine the turkey. It's kind of like marinating a turkey in a sense, but basically what we're doing is making a heavily salted liquid with not only salt, but sugar as well, very heavily. So the recipe we're using today will be three gallons of water to six cups of salt and four cups of sugar, which we have here. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the water and just simply we're going to dissolve those solids in the water. So that's gonna bring it to a boil and then let it cool. It's important that before we put the turkey into the brine that it's completely cold, otherwise it's obviously gonna cook the turkey. So once the brine's ready, put the whole turkey into the brine Obviously you need to get yourself some kind of large container that the turkey needs to be completely submerged. And that's about it. This will brine overnight or for about 16 hours. If you're going to get another recipe off the internet, you need to get the, the time which associates with it. Some brines are going to be saltier, some aren't going to be as salty. It's important to know how long that recipe calls for. All right, so next step, we have now brined the turkey overnight. We've taken it out now. And the first thing we're going to do is get the turkey ready for the oven. So we're going to tie the legs and we're going to tuck the wings in so they're not exposed so they don't burn. So first things first, basically this is basic butcher swine. We just get a couple, probably two feet will be plenty. And then we're just gonna, there's definitely a million ways to do this, but the main objective is just to get these tight together so you have a consistent cooking area. So we're just gonna pull this up like this. Just a simple knot will do. We're gonna go around twice just to make sure it stays tight here. And that's basically it. Cut the excess off, just like that. So now we have this tied, and like I said, we're gonna tuck the wings as well. So if this goes in the hot oven, these tips will be burnt by the end, so we're just gonna tuck them underneath like this. And then the next step is the seasoning. So we're just seasoning this basically with salt and pepper. You go relatively heavy, but remember you have brine the turkey, so there is salt throughout the flesh, so don't go too much. Now really the turkey is ready to be put on a tray. In this case we have a roasting pan with a rack in it. You want a rack that's going to allow excess fat to drip off, and also allow you to collect that excess fat to then later baste the turkey with. We're going to go ahead and put this turkey down, just like this. So again, it's seasoned, and today we're going to baste the turkey with whole butter. So in this pan here, I have melted whole butter, and we're going to use a brush. Instead of a turkey base, we're going to go ahead and use a brush the whole time. It allows you to coat the bird evenly. It's, it, instead of having big pools all over the bird, we're going to be able to coat it evenly. So this is actually salted butter. So instead of just wiping all the salt off, we're actually going to add even more salt by putting unsalted butter. And this way you'll have a well-seasoned skin. And then throughout the process, we're going to baste it with this melted butter. We're gonna take the drippings from the turkey and add them into this butter and add a little more flavor back into everything. So basically now we're ready to go. Okay, another thing you'll notice is that we're not stuffing the turkey. If you're gonna stuff the turkey, it's important that you cook the stuffing to 165 degrees to kill any bacteria, to kill salmonella so no one gets sick. And if you have to cook the stuffing in the inside to 165 degrees, that means that you're gonna to have to cook the turkey, the meat itself, to about 175, 180 degrees which is gonna completely dry out the flesh. So you're better off just doing the stuffing in a separate pan. All right, so now we're ready to cook the turkey. So we have an oven now preheated to 325 degrees. You can go a touch lower if you want to, but you don't really wanna go much higher. That's a, it's, it's a lot easier to overcook a turkey if you're cooking at a much higher temperature, that's obvious. So we're going to a 325 degree oven, and an approximation on cooking time will be about 12 to 15 minutes per pound. So we have a, I think this is about 13 to 14 pound turkey, so we're looking at about two and a half to three hours. All right, so here's our finished product. We quickly go over temperatures and also tools to figure out when your turkey is done. Many sites on the internet will tell you to leave your turkey to 180 degrees. At 165 degrees, all bacteria is killed. Another thing to note is that in a large bird as this, or any large piece of meat, that after coming out of the oven, your food's gonna cook probably another five to seven to eight degrees. Another thing to note is thermometers. Uh, this is a fancy thermometer, but at the at any store you can get for about 20 bucks, a thermometer like this, which is it's called a probe thermometer, that actually has a unit that can be outside of the oven, and this is heat proof, and can be in the oven at all times. So the turkey's done. 
we're going to go ahead and take it out. It's going to be hot. At this point too, we've let the turkey rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. This will allow all the juices to recirculate. Uh, if you were to take a turkey right out of the oven, extremely hot, and cut it, all the juice that should be left in the meat will end up on the cutting board, and that's not really what you want. So, first things first, we're going to go ahead and cut the string that we put on here and take that off, remove that. And this is kind of a preference thing, how you want to go ahead and cut your turkey. But the easiest way to go about it is to take your, thigh, your legs off first, remove those, and they'll kind of just, in a way, break off if you just pull. And the joint gets separated right here and you just cut that off. Your breast, really the easiest way, keep it on the bone and slice right off the breast. You should have a sharp knife to do this, otherwise you're really going to mangle the bird. So just cutting nice slices like this. This is a preference thing, kind of how thick you want your slices. And that's pretty much it. And the wings pretty much however you want to go ahead. Some people don't even like to eat the wings, some people do. And then the thigh you can serve as is. The meat comes apart. Really at this point with the thigh probably the best way to go about it is just pick the meat off and serve it as large chunks like this. Not too much manipulation. You don't want to chop it up. And that's about it.